Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and today we're gonna to be working on the TL and um, So for today's video, we are gonna be working on the fog lights um, once again So this time I got a wiring harness for uh, for the uh, The fog lights, right? So this is gonna be An aftermarket installment so uh, one of my good friends, um, in, uh, I'll link his Instagram um, in the video somewhere right here or something like that. Uh, he's the one that helped me out with this. He showed me which wiring harness I need to purchase. And it comes with the whole entire kit. It comes with the relay, the fuse, and everything. So, and it fits properly with the aftermarket one. So, um, I, did, I did detach this. So, and it sits perfectly. Uh, you guys can see it's right there. It is pretty in. Yeah, you see, it fits perfectly, so it actually does the wood function properly. So that's the only thing I need to focus on is to attach these to the battery and then wire it or thread it into the um, cabin. So I can have the switch right here if possible and anything. So I'm just gonna get started on that, but first I just need to watch this video um, where he wired everything so I can you know, properly mount it on. So let's see if this is actually long enough to reach that side, to that side, and to there. So I'm going to be doing that, see how it goes. So I'll be right back with, the, with this thread. Guys, video, um, what was his name? Mods Forever. And he's, in one, he's the one that um, instructs the, uh, the way of how the wiring should uh, go into your car and which portion of the wire should be connected to the battery. So um, I'll send up his uh, link of how he did it in the description so you guys can get a better idea of what he's doing more than I do because I'm just going at it. I'm just watching his videos just to get a little help. So, yeah. Alrighty, so based off his video, what I did was um, I connected the red wire to this positive outlet and then I'm currently taking off this bolt so I can attach, so I can attach this black wire to it. And I'm pretty sure I should just detach these first. But the wires is long enough for both on both ends. Oh my god, this one's stuck. It's stuck, man. Okay, okay. Ah, that one's in there, whatever. It's supposed to be in there, anyways. So, um, I'm gonna get the relays. Uh, this one's supposed to go inside the car. This wire is supposed to go inside. The relay outlet right here. Should go in there, so yeah. I'm. Oh. Oh, sorry. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna detach this bolt and I'm gonna attach this wire to it real quick. Um, let's see how it goes on from here. All right, so the relay is connected. Uh, the fuse is con a fuse is connected right here. I connect reconnect the battery and then I'm gonna connect these lights. I'm gonna bring this closer. I'm gonna be connecting these lights connectors ports right here. Okay, right there. And then I have the button right here. Make sure it's off. Okay, let me grab the like, tripod really quick. Let's see how this works. I'm actually very nervous for this because this is actually my first time working on uh, wiring. And oh, you guys can see, you hear the nervousness in my voice right now because I don't know what to expect. It's my first time and I'm kind of nervous. So I'll just connect this. Okay, it's on. Oh my God, it actually works. Oh my goodness, it actually works. No way. Oh my goodness, it actually works. Wow. On, ah, on, ah. Yo, oh my goodness, I'm, what? Yo, I'm so proud of myself. Like, whew. I'm honestly really proud of myself. But uh, if it, for right now, I need to readjust um, the lighting to see if it's pointing straight. Um, if this side is pointing straight and that part is pointing straight. So, because when I drive, I, I got to make sure these things are functional. So, whew. now I just need to find a, a, where that hole is to thread in the wiring so it could be inside. So, whew. so. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Thank you to that. I forgot what his Instagram name is. 
All right, you guys. So um, as I'm feeding the wire, instead of going through that middle portion of the engine, where the wire is going to be sitting on top of the engine, I decided to wire it through the fender so you can have a much cleaner look. And if I was to do like a training filter change or anything like that, it wouldn't get in the way with the wiring. So I, fi I wired it through the fender and it goes through here. I'm going to be making a little indentation. And then apparently, apparently this does not sit snugly on. It's going to slide through. So what I did was I had, I had an extra VSA um, uh, traction control button. So I decided to take it apart and use this portion that where this sits snugly in here. Um, I'm going to be shaving a little portion of the plastic in here so this could sit inside of it. So that's what I'm going to be starting to do. So I'm going to um, get a sander and then a Dremel and then uh, have it wired through and then it should be set. So that's what I'm going to be doing to see if it actually works. Alright, so everything's been sanded down there, even this uh, tab at the end. So um, right now we're going to probably be trimming a portion of this clip and this clip to and this portion to sn snugly on into this so that's what we're going to be doing and see how it goes all right update so i have to trim this portion of the bracket out so if it's snugly after i anticipate it make sure it's clean and then you just push it in make sure you push it in slowly so it won't break the other portion Actually, hold on, it feels this way, yeah. Check the other side. Oh. Okay, so once that's done, you can just start slowly pushing this in. Okay, yeah, so it works, so it, there's no interference. It's not going to sit as good, but it's better than nothing. So. I'm gonna reattach the wire and cut a little, and have a Dremel to um, cut indentation right here, really quick. All right, I think this should be set. Looks like it should work. Alright, so now that the button's here and like you know I can access these fog lights now. So we're just gonna turn on the headlights, it's already on, and then fog lights. And check this out. Man, that looks crazy. Ah, finally. Finally functions. I was about to give up on these fog lights saying like, oh, you know what, I'm not going to make them functional. Now they are. He 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 he, I'm so excited. So, uh, one more time, let me show you guys under the hood. So right here. Alright, so you connect the red wire to the positive on the side. 
And then I ran the uh, wiring that goes supposed to go inside around the liner of the body. Yeah, it could just zip tie it onto here if anything. That's possible. So yeah, it goes through here, and down into this compartment where the air intake is, and then you connect the whole entire thing. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys hope. I really do hope this video helps you guys out. If anything, um, so uh, that was pretty tiring. The reason why I couldn't go through there is because I couldn't find a wire. So uh, yeah, so I think this is an essential way because it's um, since. The button locator is on this side. I decided just to wire it through this side instead of going through there and there. So, because I feel like it's not long enough to go through there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this uh, video helped you guys out. I'll be linking the, the wiring um, harness down in the description below. So, peace out.